Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi here and welcome to another acrylic pouring video. We will get to the process just in a moment, but first of all, I have a super exciting news to share with you. So, if you have seen a post I made everywhere in social media on Friday, you know that me, along with two amazing artists, Molly from Molly's Artistry and Rinska Dona, have been working on something big for a very long time together. And now we are finally ready to share it with you. So, as many of you have guessed it right, we have put our knowledge and experiences together and now we are releasing a course. Acrylic Pouring A to Z. As you can tell by the name of it, this course is built as a very detailed guide. So, we will take you from the very beginning covering supplies and pouring mediums through color theory, composition, paint mixing, consistency, detailed techniques videos all the way to how to finish your piece and get it ready for sale. And there is so much more, it's really packed. And this course will be perfect for you if you're just beginning this creative journey or maybe you have been doing it for some time now but just feeling stuck with it or maybe struggling with certain problems and really need a good boost to take your creative process to the next level. Well, we are ready to boost you up with knowledge, insights, and inspiration. Now, I hope you are as excited as I am now, and the course will be released on December 15th. So hold on tight, it's coming soon, just two days left. And of course, we will share the link to the course and a lot more information about it on the day of the release. And now, let's get started with today's pour. Today I'm working on 11 by 14 wood panel and I'm gonna go for black and white base again. So I'm gonna have my black on the bottom here. I really like to create my split color base in a bit of a curved shape. I think it gives the composition extra something special, extra movement and uh, extra soft and playful touch. Love that. So let's add a secret message. Harmony was a secret message for today's creation. And this is what I'm going to try to achieve in my composition. base is done so again for my open cup I'm using my cookie cutter uh, I'm using a bit bigger size today and I'm placing it right on the border between the black and white so let's think through the order of colors I'm gonna be adding it all right I am ready so at this time I want to go for several rounds of each color so I'm not going to add a whole lot at once. The first color was the Exocyte Purple. This one here is Deep Violet. Next one is Primary Red. Here is a Gold. This Gold is just a mixture of several different Golds. And... This is a bright yellow, it's a cadmium yellow medium hue. This is plenty of paint in my open cup. Just a touch of white 
and black around it. And my most favorite and exciting moment, the travel. Okay, I'm gonna put some stuff out of my way and let's go. And those colors are beautiful. Oh my god, the way those gold cells popping through, the magenta, not the magenta, it's the deep violet and red are just stunning. So right now I'm bringing my open cup back a little and I'm dragging some of those colors to the top. All right, that did not work very well. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so I used a really big open cup today because I wanted to have a lot of paint between my black and white to be able to really play with the composition. And having that extra paint definitely helps with that. So now I really want to swipe some of that paint to the top here and create a sort of a wave. So I think I can just... Swipe some of this. Oops, have a little drip. I think I'll use a smaller spatula. So what I see right now is that I like this shape, I like this movement, but I think I want to have some black at the top here instead of white. I think it will make the composition a little more complete. So I swiped a little bit of that white. adding just some black instead. So after doing the swipes, now I'm gonna blow out some of this design and probably finish my composition. I want to add just a touch of white here at the bottom. So every time I'm working on a composition, I like to really take my time, step away and see how I like the movement. So right now, I love this part, definitely li like this um, sort of a wave. But I feel like I want to bring some white and break down this section. So I want to add just a swipe of white and bring it up here. Maybe do the same thing with black.
Boy, did I work hard on this one, but it was so worth it. I kept adding the colors and changing this flow a little bit, but right now, after adding some of that red and yellow on top and really making this corner much darker, I feel like this piece is complete. There is this beautiful white movement, there is this wave movement, everything is complete. And the fact that I added this color on top here really balanced out two sides. So I just love it, love this wave. And of course, all these beautiful uh, little cells and details. To me, it looks like a flame wave, a wave of flame. So you let me know what you see in it. And thank you for watching. Check out these two videos to see more open cup ideas and not only open cups, many other acrylic pouring techniques. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Happy pouring.